Co te kurwy tutaj wożą? Kurwa dla Ukraińców pierdolonej kurwa Blokują drogę kurwa do przodu To kurwy nie bali, patrzcie co tutaj kurwa może Biały dzień, 20.30 kurwa 20.15 kurwa Proszę kurwa czołgu zablokowana F-19 kurwa Russia established mobile Tsar train defense line in Donetsk using more than 2,000 railway cars. The Surovikin line is rightfully considered one of the most significant achievements of the Russian armed forces in terms of building defense. It was against this large-scale fortification that last year's widely publicized counter-offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces was shattered. Meanwhile, against the background of the above-mentioned line, Another unique defense structure, called the Tsar train, remained as if on the sidelines. The video published by Russian paramilitary telegram channels talks about a mobile defense line consisting of more than 2,000 railway cars and stretching for 30 kilometers from Elenivka to Volnovaka in the Donetsk. A very unusual defense line was created by our military in the middle of last year. This structure should have helped prevent a deep breakthrough of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Donetsk direction if Kiev had chosen it as a priority during its counter-offensive. As the author of the video said, several locomotives were built into the huge train which were constantly moving. Thus, it was not possible to overcome the improvised line of defense not only for the military equipment of the enemy troops but also for the personnel. At the same time, according to him, the cars and locomotives of the mobile defense line are connected in such a way that even if they fall, they cannot detach and break the solid barrier. At present, due to the extremely difficult situation that the Ukrainian armed forces have on the Donetsk front, the unique line of defense on wheels is unlikely to be used by Russian military for its intended purpose. Russian soldiers train to dodge thousands of Ukrainian FPV drones and beg for shotguns. Russian occupiers are learning to dodge thousands of Ukrainian FPV drones and begging volunteers for shotguns. According to Forbes, the Ukrainian armed forces are sending approximately 100,000 FPV drones to Russian positions every month. At the same time, Russian electronic warfare systems against drones do not work very well and air defense systems cannot cope with protection. Therefore, in order to shoot down Ukrainian UAVs, the Russian military uses shotguns. A shotgun firing buckshot is a decent defensive weapon. After all, a two-pound FPV drone is around the size and speed of a bird. A fast shooter could hunt an FPV drone like a duck. Forbes writes, at the same time, although the Russian army is supplied with a certain number of shotguns for protection against drones, they are not enough. As the newspaper notes, at least one soldier asked civilians to buy him a shotgun and send it to the front lines. The fact that a soldier has to beg his friends to send him a gun underscores that the Kremlin is trying to acquire large numbers of guns through military channels and equip enough frontline units to provide reliable defense against drones, Forbes writes. Additionally, as a last resort, at least one Russian unit is training its soldiers to run in circles in an attempt to dodge incoming FPV drones.
A video of such training was posted online by Ukrainian drone expert Sergei Beskrestnov. At the same time, there are many videos on the internet that demonstrate unsuccessful attempts by Russian troops to evade the drone moments before the explosion. As drone expert Samuel Bendet explains, if an FPV explodes in close proximity, it can still injure and maim even if the drone's initial strike is unsuccessful. They just burn us. Just one exploding drone tears you apart, notes a Russian soldier. During the war against the Russian Federation, drones of various types occupy one of the leading roles for the destruction, in particular, of enemy equipment and various objects. Thus, over the past month, Ukrainian FPV drones worth $15.5 thousand dollars destroyed the invaders equipment worth 65 million dollars. Toss 1A Solent Sepek dozens of tanks and guns.